There we go. Turn the mic on. Hello. Welcome back. Hope you had a good weekend because uh, well, I've, I've been busy. I've been very busy. Um, done a lot of work and stuff. Um, and I've done something which might be considered to be a silly idea on my part, but it's a little treat for myself that I've um, doing so. I've got something to play off stream, uh, apart from the SO, obviously. And I've really still find a fancy 14 because they had a free weekend and it's like yeah i remember now why i played that game it's like yes what, what heresy is this yes the emperor is not pleased but no i, I realize it's actually it's a game that when i'm doing like the sort of grindy stuff where i'm like watching um like catching up on other like podcasts or streams and things like that i can have it playing in the background whilst i'm doing doing it it's not gonna be one a game i will stream um by any by any means because it's it's just it's a bit something that's a little bit different um although i have i've got one of my friends now playing uh playing eso which i'm quite happy about i won't mention i mentioned their name unfortunately it's not on pc so they won't be joining up with me but unless they actually do bring out crossplay which would be amazing if they do but it's like, like yes join join eso fun yes good good right, let's go back onto the main game because i'm I've got a lot to do as well by the end of the month, by the end of next month, because there's a big update coming to the championship points for ESO, which is kind of important because um, it's sort of laying the groundwork for the stuff that's coming out a few months later with regards to Oblivion. So that's, um, that's something I have to keep an eye on, but uh, I've got plenty of time and I've got still so much more to do that I'm I'm just enjoying it. I can see myself honestly playing this game. In fact, well, I am playing it as my main game for quite some time. Which is absolutely brilliant. Because I was trying to think. Oh, somebody's fighting a mammoth there. Uh, oh, now, do I want to have my cloaking ability? That's the question. Because if I so, well, I'm going to need to either feed or use up one of my potions. Oh, they've been doing some fishing as well. A little bit. Oh, again, off stream just to sort of go through some of the achievements. But that's just like an ongoing little thing here. My fancy for you in this, you can't compare them. It's, those are, oh, they're both MMOs. It's like, All right, let's find Urkel the Cleaver. They're they're completely different. They just both happen to be MMOs. Now, one of them is set in one world, one of them is in a sort of like a techno fantasy type place. It's honestly, I think it's a bit unfair to compare them. And I need to find this cleaver creature who uses a club. Weird. So I've got, I've got no problems with playing it. That was that also does. You talk. There we go. Ooh. Right, there was something else I did as well. No, 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 I can't think what it is. It'll come back to me. Yeah, it'll come back. It's not what I would call mega important. But it's uh, just one of those, oh, this is interesting type of thing. Right, where is he? Where's his. There he is. Yeah, see, that's not cleaver, that's fine. Let's do some speedy boys. Here we go. Yeah, I think you notice I've, uh, I remember now. You notice I've started changing the, um, the name of the stream a little bit like the Orsinian part one and part two and things like that that was something i meant to do a long time ago um but i realized that with regards to the base campaign i couldn't really do that because i've completely lost track of where i got in terms of missions and things like that um and the different sessions plus all the stuff i've done off stream so i thought right okay starting from next dlc which was originally going to be craglord i'm going to start naming them and numbering them 
problem is it's been that long it cracked up. So but the main thing is it's, it's so I can like go back and try and find certain things and go, oh yeah, this happened in this episode and that and stuff like that. And that's kind of why I went through a phase of having these silly jokes as the titles was because I needed something to fill the gap. So that's basically what those were for. And also I was running out of stupid puns to use. I didn't want to start repeating myself. Yazara? Yazara? Guess she's out. Yeah. yeah but, um, it wasn't... Yeah, because this guy was like injured by Cleaver. Who was big, big giant fella. Listen, we both know you're the one who avenged the chief. Happy I could land a few good smacks. I'll tell you Zara when she's back. You deserve the credit. Uh, will that cause problems if you're becoming chief? That's up to the clan. I'm only doing it because Shatul needs a chief. Can't say I enjoy staking a claim while my friend is dying in that tent. I'm not so sure I want to be chief again. Wait, wait, wait. You were a chief? Chief of what? Small clan. Our stronghold let Shatul camp there in the summers in return for Choice's pick of a Chater. Chief Ogzor wanted to strengthen the bond by marrying away his daughter. Ashruka was to be my hunt wife, but that didn't happen. What do you mean? Ashruka refused to be traded like the choicest pick of a chater. She chose exile rather than marry me. Ooh. A month That's later, fair. raiders from the Reach wiped out my whole clan. Chief Ogzor took me in. Uh, forgive this one, but what happened to Ashruka? Don't really know. Shatul tries not to talk about its exiles. Chief Ogzor forbade anyone from speaking of her. I think he blamed himself for pushing her away. After her mother died, Ashruka and her father were always at odds. It was inevitable. Did you blame her for leaving? No. I've always respected how Ushruka held her ground. Good lad. I wasn't too keen on the match. I'd known her since she was a child. So going from Uncle Lorig to husband? We call that a Valenwood marriage, but don't let a wood orc hear you say. Yeah, that's got to be weird. It's some, you know, basically being told like, yeah, you're gonna have to marry somebody who you, although he's not biologically speaking your uncle, you see him as your uncle. It's like, no wonder she told everyone else the GTA film. Hmm. Yeah, we won't we won't mention that to the wood orcs, okay? But um, you mentioned Yasra. Who is that? Chief Ogzor's mother, Shatul's wise woman, though she hates it when we call her that. It falls to her to select the candidates for chief, and she's, uh, she's right over there. Good to know. L literally right Zorro. behind us. I cut this off her kill the cleaver. My friend here struck the killing blow. Impressive, Larig. Why don't you show the others? Sound advice, as always. <laughs> I know exactly what song you're talking about. <laughs> and I've only managed to get it out of my head a couple of days ago, but it was um Okay, I'm gonna One Division spoilers coming up, okay? So if you don't want to hear about this, uh mute your stream. When wait once the thingy goes away, then you'll be okay. I was kind of expecting it, but not in that regard. Let's just put it like that. I'm, I'm not gonna talk too much about it because I don't want to accidentally spoil things for people who haven't seen it yet, but uh Oh yeah. This is this has become my favourite show to watch at the moment, especially now that the expanse is finished. You're safe now. Ooh. It, honestly, I am really impressed with how they have done that show. And that's the last I'm gonna say. Hey, hello Welsh Nights of Darkness, I'm doing very well. We we just having a spoiler free discussion of uh one division of how good it is. And yeah, honestly, all again I've got to be so careful so I don't spoil things, but if you get a chance to watch it, I can 100 percent recommend it. It does start off making you go, uh you wait for it to be done. Good plan. I hope it doesn't get spoiled for you because it's oops, hello. Because there's stuff in there that if it got spoiled for me, I would have killed a mofo. But hopefully it doesn't get spoiled for you. 
but it, it's honestly it's a it's a good shot and i can completely understand why people why, why people would want to sit down and just binge watch it in one go i almost did that myself but i couldn't resist the temptation you avenged my son i will not forget what you did for shato today understandable nor will the clan if you are willing i have need of someone so capable See, what I generally tend to do is because I play a lot of RPGs on like for Fridays and Saturdays, you know, like a DD, Mutant Year Zero, Star Trek, and things like that. Sunday has become my chill, relaxed day, and that's the day I tend to watch things like One Division and all the other TV shows I've been meaning to catch up on. And it's, it's become a nice little sort of routine for me. And there's a new thing, thing called Disney Plus called Star Hope. That, oh. We've got to a good point in our Farscape watch party. Oh, just finished season three last week. Season four starting tomorrow. Again, got to keep quiet. Lost and 24 are on stars. Ooh, it's possible. It depends on what the license is for it. If, um, if Amazon has the exclusive license, then yeah, it'll stay on Prime. But if they just have like a general license, Watched it when you was a kid and watched the whole thing. I don't blame you. Hopefully, if they do put it on stars, they also put Peacekeeper Wars on there as well, like they have done on uh, Prime. Because that was something I was really gutted about. Because like, I, I looked in there for ages, couldn't find it. And then one day I was just browsing to see how many episodes there were in each season. And it's like, wait, it's 24? And then I checked, and the last two episodes of season four, on Prime anyway, are Peacekeeper Wars, which, are, which is like the unofficial fifth season. Oh, and fireflies on there. Nice. If Shatul is to survive, there must be a new chief. Morig is one contender. The other is Orgesh. Although, considering the um, news that's come out about Joss Whedon recently, I'm a little bit... Hmm. With his latest stuff, but that's... That's not something to... Uh... Orgesh returned from Orsinium shortly after my son's injury. He declared himself a contender, but I'm not sure why. The boy never had. I'll come to that second. Serving in the Orsinium Guard was my son's suggestion. To put it in Twitch friendly terms, he was, from all accounts, a bit of a unpleasant person to the ladies and folk on the set. Oh, Buffy, Firefly, and a few of the other ones. Now, that is... I've only... I'm not going to say too much of it because I've not had a huge amount of read-up on it. And I don't want to say something and then find out I was completely wrong. But that's the information I've heard. And if it's true, that's going to... It's not so much just the sexual harassment. It's more apparently the way he was a bit over the top with things as well. But... That's what I say. That's why I don't, don't want to talk too much about it because I've only literally just had a brief, like, oh, that's true, sort of um, moment. So I want to at least get a more informed, get, get myself more informed before I sort of turn around and go, well, on condemnation. Now, I'm not saying I don't believe Chris McCarpenter and everything else, but I want to make sure I've got all the information from everybody before I turn around and say, this is what happened. Because I could be wrong, and I don't want to spread false information, but I believe them when they said what happened to them. So, and as I, in the past, I have been kind of subject to that kind of thing. Um, it's a little bit of a sore subject for me, so it's one of the reasons why I don't want to talk about it myself too much. Jesse Jens and Council Geeks, yeah. It's, it's one of the sort of ones, in a way, I hope it's, been blown out of proportion, but at the same time, I've got a nasty feeling in it hasn't been. But I mean, we, we will. Shatul needs a chief. Don't focus to too much on negative stuff. Himself. We have no walls to hide behind, only our wits and our skill herding a chat here. If Orgesh has neither, I need to know. Yes, I completely agree with you. The ending of Angel pissed me off. Not because of the actors, but because of how they treated. If my storyline point of view, I did not like how Fred was treated. I sent him after Scamper, 
are laziest at Chatir. Well, Gesh can explain the task. He's never been talkative, but see what you can learn as you age. Oh. I'll want to speak with you when you return. Oh, sounds true. Oh, cool. Oh. Oh, apparently. Oh, that's it. Yes, I remember now. And yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was a little bit. Apparently, HBO now has Babylon 5. Which was. Now that's the show I want to watch again. Although, even though I've got that all on DVD, so. Well, that's a nice helmet. Who are you? Uh, Valen. Yazra sent this one to help you. I don't need your help. That's oh, okay, that's good to know. Yeah. Alright, oh, this one we'll leave then. Wait. With your help, this will go faster. That's it. There's some really good. What's the word? Um, There's some. Oh, what's his name? Uh, David. And I'm good trying to remember what his last name is now. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna mispronounce it. I know I am. Um, David Boronez, Boronez, you, you know what I'm talking about. That's the one. Yes, a new beginning for B. Oh, wait, what for go faster? Yazara asked for a snow truffle. Oh, there we go. You can sniff it out. But it's a two. <laughs> I knew I knew it began with a B. Scamper and hunt for a snow trouble. Still, still the show I'm really waiting for is not going to be out for a while. You think you got the spelling from here? It it definitely begins with B O R. It's the bit that comes after that, that I'm never too sure of without checking. I know it sounds stupid as well, but I am really. There's two shows that are coming out, and just, just talking about that and the different like, angel and things like that remind me of like, where my brain goes. It's like, ah, I used to enjoy watching those as kids. Hmm. What other show did I enjoy watching? Oh, wait, there's a couple of new shows coming out. And then it just goes from there. Um, Sandman and the Lord of the Rings show. You was well. I'm gonna believe you because I, I have. I'm sure it had a Z in it, but don't ask me. Don't ask me how he was. I'm bad at spelling people's names. I, I really am. I can't. It's not deliberate. I just can't do it properly. They get my spelling is awful. Um. Yeah, you tell me, Why does Yasra need a? Wait, snow truffle. No clue. A potion, maybe. You scout ahead. Find I want that armor. Give a whistle. I'll send Scamper your way. The, the, ah, that's it. That's what I was. I knew how there was a connection. Okay. Something's been wrapped around in my brain. One of the characters on One Division. Again, uh, this is not really a spoiler because this has been uh, semi announced anyway. And it's, she's been in the show already. Um. I won't tell you who, what character she plays, but the lady who played Anya, Emma Caulfield, is in One Division. I won't say any more. She plays an interesting character. But again, yeah, I will not say any more. Scamper will sniff the patch. If there's a snow truffle, he'll dig. I like Anya. You grab it and bring it to Yazara. Got it? Got it. Scamper is fast asleep. Buffy season 8 and 9 is so I'm calling us only. So I've tried to do that. Do it, It's been a long time since I've read any comics. I mean, not because... What the flip is that? What? What the? I'm not entirely sure what that is. Apparently, I've got to use it to try and find some truffles, like over here. 
Come on. Over here. Where are you going? Come on. Here you can. It is cute. It's like a sort of pig rhino thingy. We've crossed with an ant. That's it. Come on. Find me a truffle. That's it. We've got like six legs. Um, no? Alright. Okay. Nothing there then. Let's try over here. Apparently got to try multiple times. You can piss off. Oh, this is me. A long time since I watched any of the Pirates of the Caribbean films. It's a very long time. I might be wrong, but I think rightly, wasn't it the film based off the, the rides as well from Disney World or something? Or am I thinking of another game, another film? Squirrel! Right. Okay. Let's try here. Yeah, man. Johnny Depp's no longer in it. Yeah, I've heard that. I've put this patch. Okay, so nothing there. Now no truffles. Are... This is such an ESO thing. It's like, yeah, I'm helping an armor-plated orc with this insect-based pig-like rhino creature trying to find some truffles. Or quest. As you do. Right. I'm going to look for any of the little arrows on the ground because those those are where the truffle patches could be. Problem is, this ground is white and the indicators are white. I'm watching the new season of Fear the Walking Dead. I've been to The Walking Dead for some reason. I think, oh, I think horror shows in like, horror series, not horror films, because I like horror films. But I've always found horror shows to be not as... I don't know what the word I'm trying to find. I prefer the horror films rather than horror shows. For some strange reason. I'm not quite sure why. But I know a lot of people really like the Walking Dead stuff. Oh, oh, you found one. Who's, who's your good... whatever you are. Scamper earned some sleep. Let's get back to Shato. Get that snow truffle to Yazara. And think, I think he found one. Yeah, they are, they're right. So I've got this truffle here. Perhaps some truffles to help this person here. Whose name I've forgotten. Did you find Orgesh? Uh, yes, he asked Valen to bring you this uh, snow truffle. Good, give it here. Orgesh passed my test. Scamper has always required two people to wrangle. For Orgesh to send you back with the snow truffle tells me he learned to master his temper. Okay, makes sense. What now? Larig and Orgesh are the only clear contenders for chief. They must enter the bloody knoll and duel beneath the stern gaze of Malakath. The one who emerges shall be the new chief of Shatul. I, I I don't know. Um, I don't have a subscription to Star, so I, I don't know how that one works. The only one I've had really uh, channels I've had access to is Disney Plus, um, Prime, and Netflix. I have not forgotten what you did for us. On behalf of Shatul, I name you Bloodkin. Ooh, you excellent. shall always have a place among us. I already sent Lorig to the Bloody Knoll. Could you inform Olgesh he is to fight? I would do so 
but I must attend to my son. Uh, hmm. Oh, I didn't know that. I have to double check. Um, that's a good question. I've not looked into it, so. And thank you for the snow I didn't even know that was a thing. So. <laughs> Shows how much I pay attention. If it works like the prime one, um, what they sometimes do is that you have like your core subscription and then you have add-ons. So, but honestly, I don't know off the top of my head. So it was my son's favorite food. His heart wife. She has dozens of recipes. He loved them all. He won't be able to taste it. His mind, you see. There's nothing left of him, but I'll mix it into the poison so he enjoys it one last time. Wait, 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 wait. Poison? What poison? The poison I shall feed the husk that remains of his body. Okay. Disney Marvel. Yes, it sounds like it's like, um, it sounds like the TV packages that they used to do for like Sky and things like that. It is a mercy considering he is in extreme pain. No, it is me murdering my own son. Which is pretty messed up when you think about it. So why do it? Shatul must survive. Before a new chief is chosen, the old chief must die. By the time Lorig and Olgesh reach the bloody knoll, the poison will finish its work. Malakath will take no offense. She does not understand. There is no shame in that. You are not an orc. You are not of Shatul. But you are bloodkin to our clan. Know that it must be done, and that only I can carry this burden. Shatul must survive. Very well, I don't necessarily understand nor agree with it, but I am not going to get in the way. I'll do what needs to be done. Because I'm a Khajiit vampire, so I'm in no place to talk about people's you know, doing things. Over here, we need to talk. I had a feeling we would. Hmm. You looked different from inside Olgesh's helmet. I suspected at the back of my brain it was her in the armor. This one knew you were not Olgesh. I. What? What did you know? You are a Ushraka, Chief Oga's exiled daughter. Yes, that's... you're right. How did you know it was me? Hmm, well, let's see. The uh, the body shape, the way you were speaking, the fact that you completely covered your face. Yeah, it was pretty damn obvious who you were. Lorik mentioned you. Mm -hmm. I see. You seem to know much about me, Snow Truffle. But not everything. Oh great, she's got a nickname for me and she's calling me Snow Truffle. Marvellous. Then tell this one what he missed. A merchant friend keeps me informed of Shatul. When she brought word of my father's injuries, I had to return and contend for chief. Shatul must survive. I suspect I know the answer to this, but I'm going to ask it anyway for the sake of RP. Well, why did you disguise yourself? As an exile, I'm not allowed to enter Shatul, but Ulgesh... I think she likes me. I, I traded him a new set of armor for... I don't want to woman. ...and returned to my clan. My own grandmother couldn't tell the difference. Honestly, she does a lot of times she could beat me to a pulp and I'd be okay with that. Um, why did you sound so different when you were wearing the helmet? Well, she was wearing the helmet. The real old Gash has a squeak in his voice. One day he paid Morkel's forge wife to make him sound like an ogre. He always wore the helmet everywhere he went. It still smells like sweaty breeches and onions. <laughs> I cleaned it three times. Nothing worked. I, this one does not envy you. Um, Valen does understand though, but uh, what now? Now I head to the Bloody Knoll. There, I will kill Lorig and become chief of Shatul. For this to work, my grandmother must know my intentions. Inform her, and I swear upon my mother's memory 
I will repay the favor when I am chief. Well, this is one way to get the clan onto our side, so yeah, I'm down for this. You will pledge Shatula's support for King Kong. King Kur I've done it again. King Kurong, yes? Gladly. Then we have a deal. What should Kaji tell Yazra? Tell her the truth. I don't care if she approves. She will need to prepare the clan for my success. If Malakath disapproves, he can strike me down in the bloody knoll. But Shatul must survive. Go. There's little time. All right, Van Am will let her know. I gotta say, I do like the characters in this game. Now, even like the stupid characters, are... but I still like. Again, I keep forgetting the name. Her assistant is Stibbons and gets really crapped on for every single region I go to. They're there. That's right. I think she's done, but. My son, Chief Ogzor is dead. Larig waits at the Bloody Knoll. Is Olgesh on his way? Actually, Ushruka is heading to the Bloody Knoll. What? Ushruka was exiled from Shatul. I would never allow her to contend for chief. That is why she posed as Urgesh. She... that foolish girl. We're a traditional clan. Shatul will never accept an exiled woman as chief. Why not? Ushruka would make a damn good chief. Had she become Larig's hunt wife as my son wanted, Shatul would have stayed for the wedding. We would have been there when the Reach attacked Larg's clan. Her selfishness led to their destruction. Yeah, but you were basically asking her to marry someone she sees as an uncle. That is weird. Hmm. I see. What about Lorik? A chief who lost his entire clan to raiders from the Reach? He refused to challenge my son, to give him an honorable death under Malakath's gaze. Because of friendship. No matter his prowess in battle, he is soft in the heart. So there are no other contenders in your clan. Take this ritual blade. It is flawed at its core, just like Lorig and Ushruka. Replace the blade of the weakest contender. This one cannot do that. It is not fair. Yeah, I'm definitely agree with that choice from the guy there. That's just no. Fair. I just watched my son die. None of this is fair. The flawed blade is a test. A weak contender who survives despite this setback deserves to become chief of Shatul. Oy, this is going to go so wrong, I know it is. And I, but I hope to be proven wrong. You really believe that's what happened? When the blade fails, the weakest contender will most assuredly die. If they... If she... Go, there is little time. Malakath favor the victor. So, either way, I'm interfering. This is going to have repercussions. I don't like the idea of swapping the blade out. Not happy with that. Yeah, where am I going? I'm not conquering. That's a big room. Big hut. Because I know who I want to be, be leading it. Well, it says click Lorigs. Okay. Got there from this side. Now I'm going to hide. That's not really a hiding spot, is it? Miss Lorig. There she is. Hello, Spirit 96. Shruka, you have to go. If Olgesh sees you, he'll kill you. Proud to watch a um, orc fight the chief armor, of the clan. No. What have you done? Shatul must survive. Don't hold back, Lorig. Malakath favor the victor. <laughs> Those two up there. 
Uh, so his blade's probably going to break. There we go. Goodbye, Uncle Lorig. I, I did not like. I like both of those characters. So, fortunately, no matter which one I picked, one of them was going to die. Yeah, not happy about that. Still, then it means we've got one more of the clans on our side. Travel back here. Go look at this nice icy weather. What are we that? Thank you. You've returned. Oops, one second. Sorry. Who is the new chief of Shaw? You've missed. We are now in. Um, we are now in Orsinium, which is the Orcs area. Uh, so far, there has been a, I suppose you could say, almost like a military coup tried to take over. Um, almost wiped out half the clerics, so we went in and rescued them. Uh, started working towards filling up the museum that's in Rothgar. And basically, the king is now sending us around to the various clans to do favours for them. So they'll turn up to his... Moot, I think is the proper term. Meeting of the clan chiefs so they can officially recognise him as the High King of Yorks, basically. But apart from that, pretty much the usual. You've returned. Who is the new chief of Shatul? Ushraka was victorious. I see. I convinced our clan that Ashruka's victory would test our faith in Malakath's favor. They'll accept her. For now. That's the... If she allows it, I shall advise her. That's she'll need all the help she can get. That's actually not that... That's actually pretty good. I like the look of that. Right. This is not justice. You alone emerged from the bloody knoll. Did you pray to Malakath for your victory? I needed no prayers, only my strength. Then go forth, my chief, and receive your clan. Shatul, I present your new chief. Know this, my clan. A new era begins today. The era of the Orc. At King Kurog's side, we shall lead Tamriel to greatness. Yep, and remember who helped you. I know the cheers won't last. I'll need to guard against challengers from all sides to be twice the chief my father was. But for now, this feels good. This feels right. Mm, our King Kurok wants the chief of Satal. Satal to attend the moot because uh, she has your support yes of course you do i don't know if i can attend the moot myself i should stay here until the clan gets used to the idea of me as chief but you can tell the king that shatul supports him absolutely marvelous that's another one marks off the list what and i think one more to go so now we have a new chief Everyone is ready to forget Chief Ogzor, to ignore his murder. By the way, weren't kidding about this. Yeah. I'm, I'm glad you've caught up because those, literally, those last three episodes were just boom, boom, boom. And they are my favourite out of the entire series. That's not saying to say that season four is bad, but those, those three episodes are always the ones that stand out in my mind because of that one scene with Grace and Talon. That was just, just the way you, just, uh, you think, oh, you know, it, it, everything's been, <clears throat> it's just damn good. What are you talking about? Urkel the Cleaver robbed me of my husband's mind, but Glogosh is to blame. She secretly worships Boethia. The Daedric Prince of Murder. Oh, great. Another Daedric Prince. I about Chief Ogzor's death. I just... I haven't found the proof. 
yeah seriously that 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 two-parter was for me just there's just there's just something about it. the music the way it was organized structured the twists the turns and then that that sequence you know the one i'm talking about when that actually happened that was just i mean i even joked at the beginning of the episode uh, that when you see the command carry it's like ah here we go that's where 90 percent of the budget for season three went because the cgi now was just because it's about like 20 years old that cgi how damn good that was I am no longer hearth wife of Shatul. My husband's life was stolen from me by his hunt wife, my own clan sister. I want justice. That gives you what you need. Try the giant's camp where Chief Ogzor fell, or Lugbag. Ask what he heard the night before the attack, and search Glagosh's tent. Confront her with anything you find. I want to know what she has to say for herself. Nice. So yeah. I mean, we're going to be starting, let's say, season four tomorrow, so... Oh. You're the one who helped Scamper find the snow truffle. Everyone calls him lazy, but they just don't know how to motivate him. Yes, that appears to be my nickname if you're a new chief now. But, um, Rogesh said you had something the, the night before Chief Oxar died? It's nothing. Well, Stubbs went missing that night when I caught her out in the snow. I heard someone singing. It sounded like Glagosh. Singing. I didn't stay to listen. If the chief's hunt wife wants to sing alone at night, that's her business. Okay. Let's see where you go. Right. We're going to search Glagosh's tent. Well, this, no, these are technically. Hmm, interesting. I'm not going to read all those because it's well, be from here to next week. That's the thing with this game. Absolutely great. Love it to bits. Lots of lore. So much lore. Uh, well, I have to. I'm going to, I might smack that. I don't want to smack the giant. I absolutely have to. Don't worry, I'm, I don't want to fight you unless I absolutely have to. And we have we have no we have no grumbles, brother. Yes, it was towards the end of season. I think it's towards the midpoint of season um, season four that they found out they were basically cancelled, which is why it ends the way it does. Um, and then there was the big, there was actually a, a fairly biggish campaign as well at the time, you know, the safe Farscape one, which I would, and it did kind of work, but something I've realised when I've seen some of the clips is there was a lot of stuff that was lost in the intervening years, like the, um, it, it's not really a spoiler, it's more sort of a, wait, is this different sort of thing. Um, so some of the, uh, the makeup things, you know, like where the Scarens look slightly off, not bad, just like like some like a different person's done them because that's what exactly what happened. Different people have done them, so they're not one hundred percent the same. And the voice filters for pilots sounds a little bit different as well. It's still Lani Tapu doing it, sorry L Lani Tupu doing it, but the filters they put in his voice to make him sound different weren't fully there, so he sounds a bit more like Lani rather than pilot and things like that. But you know, it's not enough to really sort of take you take you out of it it's just like huh. maybe they, you, you know you know like when sometimes you go from a show and like different seasons sometimes they tweak things you know uh, sometimes they uh, improve things sometimes they don't always improve it that's what it feels like going from season four to peacekeeper it's just they've done little tweaks here and there some of them worked some of them didn't but overall the general consensus again i've not seen peacekeeper so i don't know what's happened um the general consensus is that it is good. It's just slightly different. I should have been at my husband's side. He'd still be alive, and I'd still be his hunt wife. Um, yes, because you'd had some questions. Oh, about what? Well, because you did find this sword at the giant camp. That's my hunting blade. Chief Ogzor must have grabbed it on his way to the giant camp. Careful how you handle it. 
The blade has a paralyzing poison on the edge. Right, that's good to know right now. That could have been very bad. Uh, why would Chief Oxel use your hunting blade? His sword jangles. Lots of little buckles on the scabbard. But mine is quieter than a thief. I bet he didn't want to wake me the morning he was injured. Damn fool, trying to prove himself. Didn't want his hunt wife along to fight the giant. Yeah, I was a bit gutted when I found out what happened. Um, one of the uh, plot lines that was... I mentioned this last week. I, um, I don't mind saying it again because I lied to it. There was a... In the rumoured fifth season that was that went on to became Peacekeeper Wars, there was going to be a, a full all-out war between the Scarrens and the Peacekeepers. And one of the things that would turn up towards the end of this war would be a now... Fully grown, but repaired, cannon. And because of what happens, um, him and Crace are basically mentally the same being. I didn't like he based like Alan basically takes his mind and puts it into his body. So they, but they in effect they become one, and that provides a little bit more stability and so, and. You find out that yeah, Talon grows up to become very, very big, like a bigger than the, the mummy Moya. You rummaged through my tent. If you weren't Bloodkin, I could gut you for that. Not that my things are your business, but it's a book of battle poetry. I read them occasionally. This book is about Boeth between Trinibek. It's what they preach in Arsinium, isn't it? Always wise to keep in touch with the king's politics. Better to know the yeah, old myths. Yeah, that's a good way of looking at it. Same veins as Serenity. But what about the uh, singing lugbag uh, the night before Chief Oxor's injury? We're a clan that travels the range. It gets boring at night. Sometimes we sing to keep up our spirits. Okay. But uh, Lugbag was away from Saturn. He said it sounded like you. No, that. I wasn't singing. I was chanting. I was out hunting when I nearly stumbled into a mammoth. They have poor night vision. If you chant the way the giants do, sometimes you can fool them into thinking you're not a threat. Mm. Okay, that's uh, good to know. Well, I don't. What is the point of your questions? Roxas thinks you are behind Chief Ogsall's death. Yeah. The poor girl is still young. She can't accept that our husband fell in fair combat. There is no conspiracy. Just a good man who fell before his time. Tell her that. Whoa. Sleep. Can I have one of those as a mount? That would be awesome. So, what did you find? What did she have to say for herself? Well, Valen found Klagosh's hunting blade at the giant camp and a book of Boeth in her tent. I knew it. Her hands are red with my husband's blood. She also admitted to all chanting outside the village. You see, a cultist chants to her Daedric prince, just like the stories. I bet she was cavorting in the moonlight. Perhaps she was chanting to ensorcel Urk Hale, the cleaver. See, you're starting to sound like a bit like a uh, conspiracy theorist. We need to get you a tinfoil hat. She said she was trying to calm a man, you know, Occam's razor and all that. We've all seen her do that before. Of course she would say that. Followers of Boethia live only to deceive. It was Boethia worship, no matter what she says. Chief Ogzor deserves justice. Something must be done about Glogosh. All right, what do you propose? This is enough evidence for me to demand the blood price from Glogosh. It is clear, both love Chief Ogza. If Shatul must survive, it should support her, not accuse her. I... You're right. I was just so angry. If she had been there beside him... Kajidi could be very persuasive. We'd still be a family. I'll speak with Glogosh. We both lost someone important to us. There we go. Bit of unity, sympathy from someone who... See? Now you're thinking properly. Good. Okay. 
Okay. Yeah. Oops. So I'm going, I'm going this way. Oh wait. Yeah. Oh, this is a bit of a trick, isn't it? Okay. Because we've got holes, really. Sometimes just wandering around these locations are very, you know, just do like a harvest one where you just wander around, no particular goal, just see what you find. And I think I may have gone the wrong way. Yep, I'm starting to think I've gone the wrong way. Oh, crud. Yep, I have, I've gone the wrong way. Where am I? I am... You know what? I am going to take a shortcut to the Icy Shore Race Ride. Yeah, because I can. Oh, hello. It's not the map there. That was a... Oh, yes, the Tusk of the Orc Father. I knew something coming to do. Right, let's go to that first. Oh, that will take that one. I remember all that, that gets me. There you go. Oh, no one. Uh, um. Oh! Also, they're basically like giant mammoth tusks in the shape of like a like a little doorway, gateway type thing. Nice. Okay. Oh, let's see if it goes. It's that way. Okay, there's going to be around this somewhere. Problem is, sometimes triangulating these things are very difficult. Other times you just walk in and you can see it straight away. So it could be up there. But at the same time, it could be even underneath this bridge, so... Okay, there we go. So it looks like it's pointing up here somewhere. Well, this is interesting, not what I was expecting. And I've lost track of where it's sending me. I'll speak to you in a bit. Now I'm completely lost. That way, right, because it's downstairs. Your reputation spreads far and wide, German's Guardian. Oh, I thought you were talking to me then. I was like, well, see, this start to recognise me. There it is. Okay. So that's red. Yellow. Yellow, green. Which is which don't. Right, so it's probably going to be in this sort of area here. There we go, let's do that. Yay! Let's do it. Yeah, that one. It's gonna give me bonus stuff. Oh, you're kidding me. <laughs> I literally had uncovered it. And I got too greedy and it exploded. Son of a biscuit. Right. I'm gonna find another one now. That was... I think that's what happens if you get too greedy. Things blow up. 
Right. It's probably around here somewhere. Uh, this is quite a big area to check. Oh yeah, this is a big area to check. You learned that from Minecraft. Yeah. That. Mm. And I ain't gonna lie, there was a, there was a point when I was actually seriously thinking about um, the end up a Minecraft server way on stream, but I am not entirely sure how that would work with regards to OBS and running the server at the same time. So I mean, I could do one. Like, I could play Minecraft and run OBS. Or I could, you know, play Minecraft and run the server, but I'm not sure I could do all three at the same time. I mean, my system's not... It's not bad, but it's not mega great, You and you need a lot of RAM and things like that, so... It definitely has that sort of look to... Well, that's good. That's something I discovered a while ago, is that... It's not just running the game, it's also running the stream software as well. That's something that's um, I have to take into consideration quite a bit. Down there as well. Like with Horizon Zero Dawn. Game worked fine, game worked brilliantly. When I wasn't streaming, but the second I started trying to stream and stuff, it didn't like it. Really didn't. Okay, let's just try and do this manually without it blowing up again. There we go, now I've got it. Phew. Always good to see a relic from the homeland. A task arrangement like this actually marks an entrance of a chief or forge wife's longhouse. Ooh. The scale of those tusks is pretty damned impressive. I haven't seen a member of that size in my lifetime. Ooh. Yeah, that's the thing. Those are. Where is it? Yeah, that's going to be interesting. Okay, so let's very quickly scoot down here. I think there was a... I saw a stable master on the map. Yep, so if I keep following this path around, there'll be a stable master. Am I level three? Yes. Yeah. Nobody yep. understand true art. That sounds like Liam O'Brien then. Horses, bears, cats, squar, Not this person, obviously. Show them respect and they'll do the same. But enough lectures, what do you need? I'm guessing that I didn't run in a server at the same time, because exactly, yeah. It's it's one of the reasons why if, if I did it, I would obviously just pay to have like a dedicated server, like running wherever. You know, like pay like the ten pounds a month or whatever it was, and then yeah, let them Take the uh, take the brunt of the work, and then I just play it and stream it from there. And then, but basically, that then becomes like what I'm doing now. So it's a lot less strain on my system. Okay, let's just say, get my speed boost. Thank you very much. Uh, I think this was the person who sounds like Liam. I think the great artisans of Morkel might appreciate a fellow artist. You would be wrong. There we go. Our usual um, is that a member of the cast from Critical Role. <laughs> I believe it is. Well, what do you mean? I'm studying an eminently misunderstood collection of artists native to Rothgar. But how am I to complete my provocative companion artwork without the appropriate materials? Again, if it's not him, it's somebody doing a good impression. Please, I think you're right. I am, I am leaning heavily towards it being him, 
but I've been wrong before in the, enough in the past. So if, if somebody comes around with proof and goes, it's not going to be like, hmm, I would be surprised, but I wouldn't be, nah, nah, that's not, that's impossible because, no, well, it's a damn good impression. But please answer this one. Excuse me. You are studying the art of the Moko clan? What? No, no. The ogres. Their visual Every so organs, often. The indiscernible textures, the smells. Oh, the smells. Ogres have long realized art should stimulate every sense. No, I don't suppose you'd care to help me acquire... Yeah, yeah it's it. It's it. Materials. All right. Tell them what you need. There's an ogre den in a nearby cave called Morkel Descent. Grab anything ogre created, which has a natural look, feel, and smell. It is. Bring it all to the House of Awesome and Glories, and I'll assemble my artwork. Right. Okay. 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 Actually, I should have lost them, yeah. Okay, now I can't, I can't buy anything more for the backs there. Let's go and. There's a merchant here, just so I can sell some random stuff. That's all. Well, hello there. Yeah, yep, yep, just to. Get rid of any junk. And all my basic stuff repaired. I still need to charge my weapon by the looks of it. Uh, there we go. Uh, yeah, I need to charge that. Still got 305 soul gems. Yeah, it's good. Let's just charge that as well. Whilst I'm here. Brilliant. Gee. I know you. You're one of those outsiders that Kura I love the armor, the detail land. on it. I heard you've done some amazing feats. But I'd IMDB says that Liam did do the voice of Mel Bosma. That's not surprise me. It's become a little bit of a game we, we play when we um, when we watch this. It's like, is that one of the members of Critical Role? Because I've been caught out before. Like, uh, one of the pets that I have, well, I say pets, companions is probably a better way to describe it, that I have run around my manor sounds almost exactly like Laura Bailey. But I checked, and it wasn't her. So I was like, wait. But, but she's in this, but it's not this cat. It's like, oh, it messes with my head. <laughs> Sorry, but I have problems of my own right now. As long as my forge wife is miserable, I can't deal with anything else. I wonder, does King Kurog have a solution for volatile family disputes? Mm. Definitely. Don't want me to answer that. Speak on that topic. We've had so many before where there's been like one of the characters uh, you meet um, early on called the Prophet is Michael Gambon. There is uh, Linda Carter's in it. Actually, uh, there is there's so so many Tim Ross, to, aka Tuvok. He he's in this as well. Um, it has just definitely become a wait. I know that voice type game, which is brilliant, but also at the same time tiny bit distracting. Only, but only a little bit. If you're brave enough, talk to Lazgal and do whatever she asks. If you can finally get her to stop yelling at me, I'll go and listen to whatever Kurag wants to say. Right. Um, so a look around here. Yeah. I'm not gonna steal anything because that's uh, not when they're right there. Because that's, that's a bit. That's very rude. Don't be doing that. I'm going, I'm going, go speak to Lardsgarl. Where's Lardsgarl? Okay, so it's full of this, this. There we go. Finest merchandise around. Fool girl! She'll get herself killed! Children, never have them! <laughs> I don't intend to. <laughs> I don't have no problem with them, just not for me. Um, what? The king insisted on a mortal daughter for his forge wife. But then he decided to pass over my eldest. Now Ashika wants to prove him a fool for marrying her little sister. So what, what, what do you mean? Malaketh alone knows why Ashika ran off. Wounded pride sent her to mortal descent, no doubt. Idiot. 
the girl will end up as ogre done or a spider hatchery. Oh, it's fine. This one will head to Moko Descent and find Ashaka. Which I almost said as a Soka then, which would have been very off to Morkel Descent wrong is why genre. Unwed. Finding glory in old relics instead of at the king's side. Couldn't have chosen her if she wasn't so headstrong. Ugh. Right, now we go to the Icy Shore Rage Rain. Which is... See, this is why I need the guide, because otherwise I get lost so easy. Icy Shore, I think that's... No, it's not that one. Uh, no, it's not that one. They generally tend to be re reasonably close. There we go. As I say, we, 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 I've definitely, I've definitely heard Travis in um, in this as one of the orcs. I'm pretty sure I've heard Sam. Obviously Liam, we had that uh, Bosma earlier. Again, so many, so many famous voice actors in this. Oh, whilst I'm here, I need to go and check. Let's see if this is really sport. Oh, treasure chest. Treasure chest. Yes. Oh, it's intermediate as well. Nice. Excellent. Uh, okay, I got a great sword and uh, some leather armor and another soul gem. Ooh, cool. Oh, hello. Get the buggers first. You know what? I've done this for a while. Ah, I feel good. Anyone? No? Watch out now, gotta wait. <laughs> there we go, back to normal. Right. Ah, that's what I was looking for. Yes, the anvil. Brilliant. That's another collection for the uh, museum, in, uh, I believe. Yep, goes through the exit. So yeah, those little sort of swirly blue marks on the head-up display, part of one of the mods I've uh, done to help me try and find those things. Otherwise, I would miss them. And I've lost track of what I'm doing. Oh, yeah. I would just call it a polar bear, but technically that wouldn't be a polar bear. Because we're not the poles. And there's an elk there. Bear, elk, elk, bear. Very surprised you do not find it. Right. Okay, so you are sending... No, of course you're sending me to the... New, this area here, the Morkel Desert. Descent. Legend holds that the, before they built on the surface, the earliest orcs made their homes underground. True or not, this cavern has an undeniably orcish feel to it. And again, the artwork is dope. Right. First of all, sack of skulls. Okay, oh. Do you want me to go this way? Oh, shoot. Oh, I see which way I'm going now. Right. Okay, so if I can follow down this, this path down to the south, that should take me to that big chamber on the mini map. This has the plat. Oh, great. Freaking ice spiders. Go to you. Yeah, let's have some of this. There we go. And I guess you in an ice cabin. Fighting spiders. Oh, and there's a, there's there's an ogre there as well. Hey buddy, how you doing? Very well, by the looks of it. Now, we're sending me, you're sending me get the stinky, indiscernible goop. Right. 
Absolutely great. Bad totem with the other coops over here. Oh, hello. He's a big lad. So am I. I love turning to that blood slime. Who's next? Who's next? Oh, oops, I didn't mean to break you. Look, I'm sorry. I did. No, I get it. You're cranky when you get woken up. Okay, have a, have a Snickers. Right, now I've got to try and find. Right, so that's going to be down to the southeast. I could use one of my potions to support the stage 4 vampirism. Which I say, I wonder. I wonder. Can I feed on an ogre? No. Nope. Turn around. Turn around. I need. I need you to turn around. Thank you. Okay. Looks like I can't. Right. I can't feed off an ogre. That's an interesting thing to remember. There's only regular, regular humanoids, so I can't feed on the big ones like the ogres, and I know I can't on the trolls because that would just be weird. Didn't know about the ogres. All right, let's really make things a little bit more complicated. Shaka. Who are you? It doesn't matter. The hand of Morkel is mine. Once I find it, which I'll play. Is... Uh, I'm not that late. No, it's only uh, just turned 7 p.m. for me. I generally uh, go from 6 to 9 ish. So it's only been an hour for me. Not that, not that late. Not that old. She. What? It's what? 7 for us, yeah. Uh, she's worried about your attempt to embarrass the king. My what? Does she even listen to me? She never listens. Honor of the clan, I say. You'll find someone soon, she says. <sighs> All right. Again, she love the armor. Good. Help me find Morkeldin. What is Morkeldin? The long lost home of Morkel clan. Did I forget you from. I did, yes. <laughs> I did. The name should have been a clue. The statues? I am tired, but I'm not Stone tired. Very old. Morkelden has to be nearby, but I. Well, maybe you can find a way in. Uh, this one would like to know uh, what do those statues represent? The old poems of Morkelden's founding mention a heroic trio who rebuffed winter's grasp and found haven beneath. Maybe they saved the clan from a tunnel collapse. Oh, there's some writing at the base of the statues. Couldn't make sense of it. There's no good asking me, I ain't got a flipping glue. But um you are certain the statues are the key. Of course they're gonna be the key. The statues the statues, dungeon, key, obviously. Buried in ice and stone marked thrice. The statues must reveal the way inside. I think there's an order to lighting the braziers, but I can't get it to work. Well, I shall pray to the god I God that he blesses me with knowledge. Again, otherwise I would never be able to figure this all this stuff out. Hmm. Also, there's so much to do in this game that it's, if I didn't have the guide, it would take me three times as long to do. So there's that one. That one. I mean, it's free. There was literally three the of those. Shifted, sealed away, but hidden in plain sight. Morkelden, lost among the ice. There was literally only three of them. 
beef. What? I get it, NPCs, not always that smart. Or perhaps she was being patronized, like, oh no, perhaps brave because you can figure it out. It's like, yeah, I, I get what you're up to. I get it. You just want me to feel good about myself. Well, it worked. And okay, I needed a uh, screenshot, so bring one second. Oh, my wrong one. Detail there is really nice. I mean, that that chandelier though that that just looks like a trap i mean look at it it has got a big spiky bit anybody standing underneath that would get turned into basically a kebab mm, it's the statue like creatures mm. oh this is a very big area Interesting. Okay, this is cool. This is really cool, actually. That's it. The hand of Morkel. It's in some sort of. Hmm. What is that? A, a display? This is like some kind of in, an Indiana Jones film. Of course, we can't just take it. <laughs> yeah. I think we're, we're thinking the same thing, are we? We're going to have to do some kind of, I don't know, traps or, tr or switches. Or, there's a spider down there. The hand of Morkel is held in something called the, I think it said, Heart Forge. Also, um, endless breath and untold rage lets purest heart release the hand. <laughs> Poets. Uh, what does that mean? We need to rekindle the forge. Endless breath has to mean bellows, and untold rage is a, a furnace? Strange way to say it. I'm missing something. Can you look around for a bellows and some kind of blast furnace? Right. Well, if you can get the cob. That's the thing, yeah, this actually looks like one of those places that would make a very good, like, player home. There's been loads of these things in here that you think. I would love them to do that where you can you work towards cleaning out a building and you can either rent it for free from the uh, local landowners or you get given it or something. Morkel Clan prefers simple solutions that last. Look for switches or some kind of mechanism. We'll see what happens when you set things in motion. Oh, and stay alert. My ancestors wouldn't leave this place completely unguarded. I still want that clockwork place. This is like that. The screams, like, like Doc Strange to me. Oh, of course, this is where. Yes, of course, this is an area where you can come to. Because there's ne there's various places throughout here, so where uh, certain set items require a very particular crafting station to be made, and this area here is for the crafting set called Morkodin. Ah, uh, I mean, I can't use it, so I'm going to have to activate the forge so I can... Oh, I see what they're doing. Oh, this is good. This is good. I like this. I like what they're doing. So there is a slight, a slight tangent benefit to clearing this place out because then get access to these unique crafting stations which is the only place where this particular item can be made and yeah i am not liking those statues i would yeah, freaking told you i knew what was gonna happen i knew it got me on a new pal when coming in here to get the book. And of course deal with these little buggers. Oh it's right. No, you want to try it as well, do you? Right, fine. You either. I know it's going to happen.
Yeah, they're going to come alive as soon as I activate the uh, the willow. Even though I was, and of course, there's a dirty graphic spider there as well. Wait. Maybe they're not statues. Maybe they're just animated armor. My way, I'm, I'm. They're not. They're not my favorite things. No, this would be a freaking amazing like guild hall to live. Of course, there's more of them. There's one. Still makes sense you know, from my uh, home defense's point of view. Yeah, this is this place is huge. There's either something I think you're right, there's either something big in this place or this is like a the equipment like an industrial area. Just look at it. Books, loads of books, massive bellows. That is one flipping huge water wheel. Nope. You're gonna come alive when I do something on this last one. Yep, knew it. Breaking knew it. Feel, yeah, it, it does have that. Yes. It does have that Moria feel to it, doesn't it? And they called it a mine. So what makes me laugh, if, you, if you've ever watched Lord of the Rings films, what they show you in Moria is essentially the basement of the Moria complex. The place is huge. It really much takes up most of the mountain. Why Gimli giggled and laughed and said they, they call it a mine. It was like the first Harry Potter movie when they're doing the trails, like the chest and stuff. It's been a long time since I've seen Harry Potter. Very long time. Okay, that is a flipping huge water wheel. Okay, so where am I going next? I'm now going next to that way. Yep, they're going to come alive. I can call it now. See, called it. I would not be surprised there's a boss fight in this. And get the book that's in there. Okay, just for the law. Don't go away, you spider. Go away. Maybe you go away. All right, next is to the blast furnace. This is going to be interesting. Some of is on the same quest. Right, so the blast. So the bellows is doing its thing. Oh. Oh, hello. That's, that's a big, that's a big furnace. And of course the control mechanism is on this middle bit here. Right. Nice. There we go, I've now officially reactivated the forge. So if I'm right and I go back to the main chamber, those crafting stations should now be active. Yeah. It's over and again. They have the high ground. Uh, despite we may think of those films, they were a great source of memes. Flip button. There you go. I don't know if there's another law book around here as well, I think. Read the map right. Yeah. I've never actually watched the Clone Wars. I know it sounds stupid, but I've, I've never got around to watching it. 
Not because I don't think it's bad, I've just never got around to watch it, so. I've heard lots of good things about it. It's on my if, if I, I get the chance and I'm not watching anything else. It's... Especially I keep misreading this character's name as a shoker. Oh, I've watched the movie. I've, I've seen the movie. I've just not seen the series. I think I saw the movie at the cinema. Very possible. I've seen most of them at the cinema, so. Yeah, see. You did it. Now for purest heart. Let me just see if these are now unlocked. Oh, I see. Oh, you talk about a cartoon movie. Okay, I shall remember that. Watch the cartoon for the Clone Wars first. I right, see. So here we go. Let's see. Uh, oh, I don't, have, I don't have the skill with this one. The movie starts to show off. Like a hand. Ooh. Oh. oh no. What's that? What? What? The hand of Morkel isn't our forge hammer. It's the cage around it. And if my clan's old word for heart also means blood, then this wasn't our heart forge. It was our blood forge. My mother says we're the best smiths in Rothgar because we put heart in the steel. Whose heart? Whose blood? Morkel clan hasn't had enemies since the days of Morkelden. Did we feed our rivals to that thing? That kind of does make sense in a weird, twisted kind of way, because there was a, a legend about how some types of steel were made for the blood of your enemies and things like that. Ugh. Wait, wait, your clan locked the forge hammer away? You're right. Yeah, the armor's cool. The poems aren't about honor we lost when we left Morkelden. It's honor gained for burying our greatest shame beneath a mountain of ice. And a warning to stay away from the hand of Morkel, which... Well, we, we couldn't have known. This is why you need to tell people about things. You're going to lock the hammer away, yes? Not without blood magic. But I can't just leave it here. It's... it's our heritage. I'll bring it back to the stronghold, but what then? What do I tell my clan? Well, Morkel's clan strength did come from here. Embrace your destiny. Oh, sorry. Wrong thing. Embrace your past. You're right. You forge a better blade by studying your past mistakes. There we go. I can't keep this from my clan. Perhaps there's a better way to use this place. An honorable way. What do you mean? Morkelden doesn't require the blood of our enemies. That's just how it was misused. Maybe the blood of frostbite spiders is enough. Blood, Iker, whatever. I don't think your god's going to be too happy, but you know what? That's, that's... I'm not going to go down that path. I heard a rumbling when you rekindled the forge. Maybe another way out. Yes, it's called... Anything to avoid those ogres. Yeah, it's called teleportation. And that's where I need to go. Yay, for teleport. So do that in real life. I'm just popping down the shops. No, I don't have no problem with paying for it like that. As long as it wasn't stupid over the price, but it would be very handy being able to teleport. Okay, I'm craving for a pizza. Just pop down to the local Domino's or whatever. Yeah. Where you seem to be now, you're seem to me. I thought it was flying then. Nice. You could use a free advert with version. Oh god, could you imagine that? It's like, you no, know, you want to. It's like, ah, I see you're teleporting to Skyrim. Do you wish to pay five hundred gold or watch an advert? Oh god. That would be horrible. But also, I kind of want to see that happen there. Just for a laugh. Where's she gone? Where's she gone? Um, um, oh yeah. 
have. I've got. I went the wrong way. Oh, that's for another quest. That's why I got confused. Oh, hello. I've just spotted something under the stairs. Or potentially something under the stairs. Yes! Thieves Trove. Oh, I'll have that. Thank you very much. Excellent. Even though I've just stolen someone's lunch as well. Nobody saw me. That's very nice. I'm going. I am going. Then we go up there and then go south. Okay. There we go. You cut the forest and the forest cuts back. Bet those witches had something to do with all these nature problems. There she is. Is that your ally, Ashaka? Even the name sounds almost like Ahsoka. Ashaka speaks on a matter concerning the clan. <laughs> we'll speak Local then. Clan, our search is over. Today we are whole once more. No longer shall we live in our ancestors' shadow. There is power in our blood, and at last we reclaim it. Yay. Behold the hand of Morkel. <laughs> and beneath the mountains, the great forge of Morkelden is rekindled. I helped. It is a new era for Morkel. A new era for orcs. Prepare yourselves, my clan. Someone sit down there. <laughs> we march to Orsinium. We shall build it anew. Sweet. The news of the Blood Forge brings strife, but I will not allow us to look away. It is not in our nature. Well, what now? Now I name you Bloodkin to Morkel Clan. Last thing I'll do before heading I'm just kin to like three clans now, but right. I'm getting around. <laughs> and it will keep our clan away from Morkelden until I find a better way to use the Blood Forge. Okay, for a magic user, that is actually a really good two-handed weapon for a magic user. That's Magicka Recovery, Magicka Magicka, more Magicka Recovery, and at five items for the set, when I cast a damage shield ability, which I think my uh, ward counts as, it heals me and my group, damages energy, damages those enemies. That is a very nice two-handed weapon. It's a shame it's not a lightning stuff, because that's kind of what my build is based up around. But, you know, if I want to go down the whole being a sorcerer who smacks people around the head with a hammer that go very nice that is, that is actually i'm really liking that weapon that's really nice i need to update my price table oh, boom. Oh, boom. where's it gone become four yeah that's the thing i could use that to become a four um oh is it Problem is, if I use if I use that, I won't have access to my other abilities. I'm gonna keep that though. Good thing is, what what they've done is now, it, even if I break down that weapon to use it as a uh, crafting materials, because it's not collected. As soon as I do that, it becomes collected. That means by using the where is it the where's it gone? Okay, no tree. That might be you. Item sets, here we go. Yeah. So if I want to get that item, it'll cost me 70 of these, let me call them, uh, shards. And I can get that item back for any character. And basically, these items now become accounts. And it's like, boom, I can do it again. I don't have to go about to find it. I just literally go to the uh, crafting station, appropriate crafting station, which I think is the enchanting station, spend those necessary uh, tokens, 
and I can get that item back. So if I look at this, this will be DLC zone. So this will be uh, Rothgar. If I go for uh, a bit two handed melee. Uh, now what? Oh, I see. I can pick different multiple. Where I say, okay. show locked. This is Rothgar. Oh, wait, it's, it's, it's in this somewhere. There's a doubt I have to try and find them. It's pretty good because it means if I get like a really sweet weapon, I can then, in effect, give it to another level appropriate character on the account. I'm not sure what you did exactly, but you somehow restored peace to really good idea. And thereby helped my clan. You have my thanks. And you get those, I know you get those tokens by doing like random dungeons, so... It's a way to encourage people to go back and do the lower level dungeons again because you're getting the items that you need to complete the set and the more items you have in the set the cheaper it becomes so it's, well, it's a feature i think i wish more games would have especially mmos because it's much as i love star trek online for example one feature i'm not a great fan of is get a character up to a certain level get a ship and it's only unlocked on on that character but I want it on another character as well. Start running out of room. More countdown stuff. Sure, why not? I'll go to this moot and listen to what Kurag has to say. It's the least I can do after you helped us with our... Can I have that as an armor set? Perhaps I'll see you in Orsinium, outsider. Okay. I need to check something. Where is it? Mm. Nope. Where is it? So I've got. Um, interesting. The old helm. It's clockwork. Kajita no Kuni. Um, you can still sort of have tattoos, um, but. They don't really show up too well on Khajiit and Argos, but you can have them, but it's very, very subtle. Uh, where is it? Let's have a look. Where's my collections? This will be collectibles, uh, things, appearances, body markings. See, it's difficult to see because obviously I'm full armor, but these are the ones I've unlocked. Um, let's see. See, mystical magical flow body let's see this hmm now you can't see it but it's there it is actually there um problem is i've got stuff on so <laughs> just, have to, just have to trust me that it's there <laughs> Oh, there we go. Look at my feet as I'm running. Sometimes you can see it. I wonder. No, 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 I'm not going to risk it. I'm not going to risk it. Also, I am a um, vampire Kajit as well, so that is probably going to have some kind of... Let's just see, let's see if I can show what. Show my passion. Can I hide? Uh, no, I'm not going to do that because that will. Let's just see. Okay, let's take off the costume as well because I'm going to do. It's because I'm wearing a costume, right? Okay, so let's turn the costumes off for the moment. By the way. I've got a hat as well. Uh, there you go, hide that as well. See, that's, that's what my character naturally looks like right now. That's their proper appearance. There you go. I see, this is it.
So you can't quite see it, but you can see there's marks on the side of his head there. It's, yeah, it's, they're not really designed for Khajiit to, uh, to, you know what? I'm digging that appearance. Let's, uh, let's put my helmet back on. Where's he gone? Where's my helmet? Uh, yeah, let's try and equip that. Can I hide the helmet appearance? Doesn't look like I can. Okay. I mean, that's nice armor, but I want to... Ah, there we go. It's very faint, but you can see it at the base of his neck there. Just over the top of the armor, there's a pattern. I'm trying to point at the screen without covering that, but it's like... Very, very faint, though. Where am I going? I'm going. What are you sending me? You're sending me to. You now let's go. I'm going to teleport again because I'm feeling lazy. Yeah. I imagine I want a character with different sort of setup and things like that. Stuff like that would stand out, but that's fine. You, know, you can't have everything for every single character, it's just not really practical. But again, this is unlocked on the account as well. So anything I create will be able to unlock that. Now, I'm in Ossinium, so what I need to do is very quickly pop to the museum. And I very much can't remember where it is. So this area is looking familiar. I suspect if I wasn't as pale as heck, then um, that would probably stand up a little bit more as well. There's the museum. There it is. Right, I've got one item to hand in at least. That is a nice hat. I want that hat. Wait, right, whilst I'm here. Ah, oh, that might work actually. I probably can't. I had the helmet, but I can replace it with a hat. So I need a... Oh, that's weird. That's weird. That's a chamber pot. That looks messed up, but I like it. That'll be cool for us to start playing as a necromancer. Uh, ooh. What's this one? The ruffian. Cool. But not quite what I was going for. Traditional wizard's cowl. No, I don't like that. Let's go back to the one I was using before. I don't know, it doesn't seem to work with that armor. Okay, it's just about another costume. Um, I believe was, I think it was this one. I think this was the one I was using. Yeah, there we go, back to regular costume. Oh, feels good now. I'll speak to you later. What I do is ending is, where is it, where is it? It is the anvil. And the scepter. Right, so could try and find where these go. Liquid silver, hammer glass, racer, whatever that was. Helm. Map the clans. No, we can steal from them. Trinity Castle. This and build display. Okay, so that's that one handed in. Then the other one is what's the other one called? 
Setsa of the Riker King. Dwarven Light. Eye of whatever that was. Wait, is that? Oh, that, that, that's messed up. There's a head in there. Of the heart. Setsa. That's a shame it doesn't show them. You might be right. Can we get an angle so you can see it a bit easier? Right, what's to say? Good play. I have no idea whether I'm going to spend all the time reading that, otherwise, I will spend all day in here. Right, so it's going to. Going to the King's Corner Club, his own semi private public house. Yep. Still, by the fun we have to go through here following basically a far cloud. That cracked me up. I'm still at stage three, okay. King? Oh, there you are. Hello? And my champion returns. Still alive, and with most of your vital body parts intact. My shield wives only. Oh, God, sorry, baby. I told them not to bet against me. But enough of that. Were you successful? Are the clan first. chiefs going to attend the moot? Uh, well, all three of the, uh, the main clan chiefs have agreed to attend the moot, and apparently I am bloodkin to... At least two, maybe all three of them, which is nice. Perfect! You've done me a great service, my friend. The moot will be remembered as the turning point for Rothkar. Something's going to go wrong. All the clans united under the rule of a strong and visionary king. A new golden age for the Orsimer begins here. Well, this one must know. But what happens now? Now? Why, we prepare for the moot, of course. It will be That's actually making my eyes go worse. <laughs> Chiefs from the farthest reaches of Rothgar will come together to finally accept my vision for the future. This is how a kingdom is born. <laughs> Too bad Basrog is going to miss it. Please forgive Kashi, but uh, Chief Basrog is not attending the moot. Don't worry about Basrog. He hasn't been seen since the attack on the temple. Oh, yes. He's probably gone so deep into hiding or run so far away that we'll never see that traitor again. You don't seem very concerned about Chief Basilok. Why should I be? You're concerned enough for both of us. <laughs> but come on, you're worse than my shield wives. Have a drink. Have the whole damn keg if you want. And take this. For services rendered. Now, all we have to do is sit back and wait. Ah, my favorite language. Coin. Hello! I've been looking all over the city for you. I guess I, th I get big trace of vibes from this character. I really do. I half expect them to turn up at some point and go, Cheers, love the cavalry's here. I had the hardest time finding you. Looked all over the city, even got lost once or twice. I did find an adorable sweet shop, though. They had these wonderful tiny cakes that were absolutely delicious. Who knew all cakes could taste so good? You know what I mean? She's, she's basically like the ESO version of Tracer. Uh, please, indulge this one. Uh, did you need something specific? Right to business, huh? Not even a... Hi, good to see you. Fine, fine. Anyway... High Priestess Solgren needs our Okay, help. we're gonna head off. She Wait. To Fingers crossed. For tomorrow. Moment, you need to go see her. Uh, Kajidi's wondering. Any idea what the High Priestess wants us to do? It's a rescue mission. But she said she wants to give you the details personally. After all, you did save her life. That's true. I can see it now. Oh, my saviour. Let's retire to my private chamber so I can share the intimate details with you. <laughs> that smirk. Very well, Kajit will go talk to the High Priestess. Seriously, Solgra wants to keep this quiet. Said the situation was sensitive. She especially doesn't want the King to know. 
When I suggested asking the king for help, she insisted that that would only get more people killed. Just so you know. Thank you. King Kurok does not know about this? No, doesn't have a clue. That's what makes it so exciting. This is an honest to goodness secret mission. I always wanted to go on a secret mission. Besides, once you talk to Solgra, you'll understand. She explains things much better than I do. Come on I'll in. meet up with you later. Come on. Go see Solgra, but Come don't on. take too long. Well, don't sit there shouting. Hey. Come here. Come here, you. You've been a pain in the butt all day. Come on. Come on. Come on, look. Come on. Come on. No. There you go. I've moved the microphone. Come on. There we go. What was I thinking? What? I never should have left Oridon. Come on. You want to get on my lap there? Is that what you're after? Come on. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. That little incident a couple of weeks ago with her ear. That's. Honestly, she's fine. Her ear is still sometimes a little bit on the sensitive side, but in terms of her personality, she's fine. She really is. Got very cheeky the last few days as well. I was trying to do myself some dinner earlier and she kept coming to the kitchen game. But the funniest thing the other day, I'm um, just doing a bit of tidying. I looked out the window and I could see, see she was like the other side of the green that's outside of my house and sort of looked up at me and I just held up her bag of her of her treats, of her kitty treats. And I swear, I have never seen her run, so, look up and go, <gasps> and run so fast across the screen. She almost destroyed the cat flap come running in. It was hilarious. It's one of those I wish I could have honestly just recorded it because it was just so, so funny. Ah, see, I think I'm going to speak to you again. What an undeniable aroma. Let's see, bones, more bones, a slightly different bone, some sticky goop to hold it all together. Oh, my friend, you have outdone yourself. You really think this will work? Have faith. A sculpture begins as a block of stone. Masterful painting, nothing but canvas on a board. Time to assemble this for Paparator Nagaza. Soon, all shall witness my glorious homage to Rothgar's ogres. Okay. That was, um... What is this? This? Masterpiece? Delivered as promised. What is this mess? Mess? But this is an authentic replication of ogre artwork, as requested. The materials came straight from an ogre den. By the bloody curse, Doranar, it reeks! Ah, you understand? I understand the gorge rising in my throat! Slappy. It's uh, perhaps not my best work. Yeah, it, it's stinking the place out, mate. It's. Honestly, it looks like something's been. Um... Yeah. I'll just leave that there. Oh well. Could have been better. Okay, jump down here. Oh god, you want to jump down on a ledge. You know what? I don't think I will. Not from there. Um. Temper vial. Where's that? Oh, I see. Right, that's one of those ones. Okay. You know what, I'm going, to, I'm going to take the long way around. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to take the long way around. I am not going to go splat because... You know, in ledges, we, we don't... We, we haven't, we haven't a, I suppose you could say, a... Uh, 
an agreement. It's probably the best way to describe it. I won't jump off them, they won't kill me. Ledges. Seriously, I've died more times falling off or jumping off ledges than I have ducking through anything else. Some people it's doors, others it's chests. With me, this character, ledges. I need to start looking up a lot more when I go into these places because there's, there's so much detail that you miss in like MMO and games because you only really sort of look at not like at this level really like the what I'm going to call the horizon but this stuff and then you're like wait what and you can see like the detail on the ceiling that's, that's got to be quite a gutting really you know you spend like as an artist graphic designer or whatever you spend months working on like a really intricate pattern on the design and probably like three people see it thank you for responding so quickly to my summons especially considering everything you've been doing to support the king did everly tell you that i have a delicate situation i could really use your help again yes everly said i'm not going to tell you everything that everly said you otherwise you'd end up slapping her but she said something about a uh she can be rather exuberant, but I suppose the term is accurate. I debated with myself before deciding to ask the two of you for assistance. But in the end, there isn't anyone else I would trust with this matter. Thank you. Good to know. If slightly worrying. Um, tell Belen what the problem is. A shield wife from one of the clans sent me an urgent plea for help. It appears that the clan's chief has been taken captive by a fanatical group of how do I put this? A host. They're members of a religious sect devoted to Trinamac. Ah, cultists. So, wait, wait. Trinamac, isn't that who you worship? Yes, but it's not the same. The Vosh Rock are Trinamac extremists who bend the sacred teachings to their own purposes. Oh dear. They've been gathering power and influence at an alarming rate. If they kill the captain chief in Trinamac's name. Yes, that would not be good. Uh, okay. It would be as handled. It'll be as branded as bad as the, uh, the Vosher Act. It will give the Orc traditionalists one more arrow to put in their quiver. And they won't use it only against us. Mm -hmm. King Korag and the Forge Mother have supported us. This will cripple their cause and turn everyone against Trinimac and his followers. So what do you need this one to do? Go to Farin's stronghold and meet Everly. Stop the Vosherach and rescue the chief before it's too late. I just ask for your discretion in this matter. If the king finds out, he'll send an army, which will only result in more death and destruction. Right, okay. Time for a vampire potion then, because I've got to be discreet, and that means I'm going to have to blood cloak. So, let's try that. I need that. Yeah, and uh, where's my vampire potion? Right. There we go. I'm at stage four, which means I cannot heal naturally. We. And there's certain mergers I cannot speak to either. My sister goes to the ice sunshine, but that's going to be. No, let's follow the instructions. I made that mistake before. Run alone, inventory space? Well, yes, that's kind of. The, the, that's like. One of the fundamental laws of MMOs. You run out of infantry space very quickly. Right, let's find if there's something I can smack around to get some health back. Uh, you did no, no, you're an innocent one. Uh, gorgeous, gold ply, look at that. He's a, he's a chunky lad, isn't he? Right, ah, there you go. I have no idea what direction I should go, and I'm freezing out here. What are you doing out here? I serve aboard Matir's fortune, or at least I did before we wrecked upon the ice. We were bringing the ambassador to Rothgar when a horrendous storm blew up. 
sent the fleet off course and crashed us into the frozen shore. There's something could you can do to help, yes? They sent me to find help, but I'm practically useless when it comes to navigating on dry land. Look, go talk to Lord Ethian at our camp. The survivors gathered there, but his wife, the ambassador, is still missing. He's worried sick about her. But this one will look for Lord Ethian near the shipwreck. I'm glad I ran into you. Maybe you're just the bit of good luck we need to salvage something from this terrible situation. No, I'm a Khajiit. We are considered lucky. Camp is near the shore. You can still see what's left of our fleet from that location. Okay. Right. So you're sending me to the... general direction. There we go. Got a cloak. Such a handy ability. If you want to be a sneaky sneaky. Which also makes the stappy stappy a lot easier. Well, that might, my health being low like that, so sorry bear. I need your essence. I am sorry. Hello. First the storm, then we crashed upon the ice. Those terrible little monsters attacked. Your head must be really cold. I just wish my wife wasn't still out there. I don't mind admitting that I'm lost without her. Because uh, you'd met someone from your fleet who said you needed help. Help? Of course we need help. Mm, my wife cool. is Lady Sovel, ambassador to the High King. She was on her way to Orsinium to negotiate an important trade agreement. The ships went off course, crashed in the storm. My wife disappeared in the confusion. You are a long way from Orsinium. You want to discuss geography? Now? My wife is missing. We need to find Lady Sovel. She was helping people off one of the wrecks, the other survivors. Captain Henriza won't risk any more sailors, but perhaps you could search the ice for me. I'm hoping it's coin in it, but yes, Khajiit will search for, for survivors. High King Emmerich relies upon my dear Sovel. If she were here, she'd know what to do. I am actually friends with High King Emmerich. We, uh, we have a history. More than you realize. Did I hear correctly? Will you be visiting the wrecked ships? If so, perhaps I could impose upon you for a small favor. Go on. I apologize for even asking, but I have no qualms admitting that I am no match for even one Reeker, let alone a dozen of the foul creatures. If, during your travels, you happen upon a gold pendant, well, it belongs to me. What is so special about this pendant? In light of all the lives lost, it may seem trivial, but I spent a month's wages on the pendant. It was to be a betrothal gift for my lovely Eleni. Thoughts of her beauty helped me survive this terrible disaster. Find it, and I will be in your debt. Well, if this one happens to find your pendant, he will return it to you. I appreciate your help. The pendant holds a great deal of sentimental value to me. Okay. Can't find his pendant. Oops. I do need to do. There we go. Let's get my XP buff again. Oh great, you wanna do so you wanna try some as well, do you? No, go on, go on, go on, go 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 go. Oh. Where these things are they? I might get into the end land of ice and snow and all that, but come on. To be fair, they're probably attracted to my warm Khajiit body. I wonder what the flip is that walking across there? Wait, would I actually be warm as I'm a vampire? Ah, yeah. crap, he spotted me. Ooh. Ah, 
the way they talk again every single time Christ me. Ooh, how many more is that? Seven, 17 more goblins and I've got the achievement. Mm, here we go. Oh, but that sound was in. Oh, no, and now uh, water skin. Well, that should be frozen by now. Oh, hello. What's going on in here? I'm oh, great. The whole thing's been ransacked, I see. Okay. Oh, what? Oh, but you, you don't look familiar. Which of the ships were you sailing on when, when we hit the ice? This one wasn't on a ship. He was here to help the ambassador and any of the other survivors. Oh. All right, bye, Kat. I'm the first mate of the flagship, Matir's Fortune. I, I came down here to secure the hatches when, when I saw the ambassador's bodyguard. And then I hit my head. I don't remember anything after that. <laughs> Let's go for. Let's go with that one. How did your fleet end up so far? Of course. Now that you mention it, I thought something was wrong. I never sailed with Captain Henriza before, and I never sailed this part of the sea, so I could have been mistaken. I tried to reach the captain, but that's when we ran into the blizzard. You think Captain? Uh... Captain Hendis made a mistake. I wouldn't want to disparage the captain. She works for Lord Ethian's father, and most of the ships belong to him. Because of the ambassador's mission, they wanted to make an impression. <laughs> Nobles. Hmm. There's a camp nearby. You should be you should be safe there. I'll go check on Lord Ethian. He's a nervous sort. Okay. Oh, cool. What am I? Great, I'm stuck behind you. Alright, so we're. Oh. Look at all the goblins there. Let's see if I can get the achievement whilst I'm in. It's, God, this place really is a wreck. Look at it, it's like but, multiple boats here. Then. Over there. Yes, did it. That's pretty cool. Is that a dodo? No, it's a, it looks like a weird penguin. Pride of North Point. Right, so that's going to be where. Right there. Anyone out there? Anyone that's not a reeker, that is? I could use a hand. Yeah, that would be me. Whoever you are, can you move some of these damn crates? I'm stuck. Okay, um... Hello. Furniture tore up my sword arm. I'm practically useless. How's your hiding in that little spot there? Stupid ship started collapsing around me. I figured I was gonna sink before I got out from under this mess. You are alright? Sure, I enjoy being crushed under rubble as I slowly sink into icy water. 
What kind of question is that? And just who in oblivion are you? Now very funny. Good to see you too. I had a feeling I'd be seeing you again. You do have a habit of wandering into the most disastrous situations. Uh, we can catch up later. Lady Thopla's husband sent Valen. He did, did he? Last time I saw that spineless skeever, him and Chorus the Mage were walking away. They left me under here to die. I heard them talking about the captain and the ambassador as they left. What about the captain and the ambassador? Hard to believe, but not every Breton likes that High King Emmerich made peace with the orcs. Mm, they call them savages, and they want Lady Sovel's mission to fail. Captain Henryza wasn't shy about telling the ambassador just what she thought about orcs. Well, let's, let's go find the Lady Sovel. Why is that? Glowing like mad. See that? That normally indicates when something's glowing like that that it's an I item that I can collect for part of the what do you call it? Uh, part of the Orsinium stuff. The Orsinium Museum. See it? That sparkle there. I might have to come back to here. Yeah, there's nothing else there. Unless it's hidden behind something, quite. It might be just that it's hidden. Wait, I just saw something there a second ago. No, no, okay. Well, let's come back to that. Yeah, I have to come back for it. If it does turn out it's an item that I missed, I know where it is. I won't be much use in a fight, so I'll follow you. I suggest checking out more of the wrecks, or maybe she headed for that tower over there. All right. Okay. So we'll deal with these ice wraiths. If there's nothing else, you can be a meat shield. It's a cannon fodder, but there's no cannon, so... Okay, so it's inside the crash ship. Right. Nothing there, right, nothing there. There it is. Hey, go ahead and loot the wrecks. Don't mind me. I'm sure Lady Sovel isn't in any immediate danger or anything. Look, this one does what this one's doing. Back off. This one has a plan, and he promised he would help. That's what he's doing. Three new Rikers. Three new Rikers. Oh, six more to go. Five. Go the little bugger. Four. Where is it? Oh, Lord Effin. Did you find my dearest Sovel? Please tell me she's all right. Have you found my wife yet? Please tell me that you know where Sovel is. Well, we've not found the ambassador yet. Where could she be? And why did she have to stay on the ship? She cares for everyone else. One moment, uh, there's an ice race attacking us. One moment, but... Oh, get him. Don't be sorry about that. Where could she be? Impossible. The captain was... Uh, okay. That's that to deal with. Wait, this guy's got some serious energy. Yeah. 
Ooh, I love it. Help! I'm on top of the tower! How did you get up there so quick? Yeah, so you were there like five seconds ahead of me. How? You know what? You can wait. I'm gonna bimp around here now, see if there's anything I'll Because I can. Oh, I see. Right. Part of the law stuff, that's probably what it is. Wait, he's up here? Alright, back to the apex. Seriously, how did you get up here so quick? Sova. Hello, cat. She's not here. I'm coming in. I think maybe that maid tried to kill me. Yeah, man. Maybe he was trying to kill you. Yeah, man. Yes. Uh, tell you something the truth. You are. Uh, no, no, no. Really? You're going to sit there? Thank you. Tell you something the truth. You are responsible for the ambassador's disappearance. What? How dare you insinuate such a thing? I would never. I'm as at a loss as to where Sovel is as you are. My father promised we would go off course just long enough for Sovel to miss her meeting. She wasn't supposed to be harmed. So you are responsible. Okay. What was supposed to happen? We were just... It was supposed to... The captain has worked for my father for years. Father, you just can't say no to him. He said that the captain would take care of everything. By the gods, what have I done? Sovel will never forgive me. Oh, good. You must have had some idea where we should look. I truly don't know. It wasn't supposed to happen like this. Terrible storm, all those sailors who died. My father said Captain Henriza would make sure that no one was harmed. We were only supposed to get into port late. Well, okay, first things first, let's go downstairs. We can look for Lady Snow to go together. Oh, but who, who are you? Oh dear. There you are. Scordo found something. What did you find? While you were up in the signal tower, Scordo did some scouting, and he thinks he figured out where Captain Henriza disappeared to. He went to see if the ambassador was there as well. But I was wondering, where did Scordo go? Just down the path here. He found what looks to be an old smuggler's bolt hole in the rocks. Scordo sent me back so I could tell you all about it. He's waiting for you over there. FBN and this one will go meet up with Scordo. I'll head back to camp. I need to check on the survivors. Good. And let's this mushroom. Yink. I read that. There you are, Scotto. See that cave? That's an old smuggler's hole. I bet my last gold piece that Captain Henriza is in there. Maybe with the ambassador. What's so special about that cave? Nothing really. Just a gut feeling. I learned a long time ago not to ignore my gut in situations like this. Besides, I saw one of Henriza's lackeys sneak in there trying to be all stealthy. Sure, that's where Lady Sovel is. So you think Captain Henrisa can be reasoned with, yes? Why would you want to reason with someone like that? Do you reason with an angry Wamasu when it's trying to eat your face? No, you oh, overdone. What's that fool easy enough to now? Okay, let's go see. I know you're in there, Henrisa! Where's my wife? Run back to your father, you pathetic little man. Free my wife at once, you villain! I'm going to do your father a favor. She... She stabbed me! Can't say I blame her. Got a bit of a twit. Hi, kid. 
King Emric will hear of this, you... you blackguard. Captain Henry, sir? Surprise. I knew you were nothing but a filthy orc lover. I should have gutted you the moment you entered our camp. Not even that sort of language. I think she... Of loot. Right, this is probably food loot, but it still counts. Lady Sovereign. If you could untie me, I would greatly appreciate it. And would you know if my husband is safe? He's Lord Ethian, and I made sure he got off the wrecked ship with a few of the crew and passengers. Um, and this one is sorry. Captain Henry says stamped him when he was trying to rescue you. Ethian? My husband? Tried to stand up to Captain Henryza. I... I never expected him to do such a thing. Ugh. Why didn't he stay with the rescued crew? He was never good in a crisis. Tell me, how bad was he injured? This one's not sure. Scott does with him. Ugh, this is all Ethian's father's fault. What a vile man his father is. Ethian never could say no to him. And Ryza was eager to tell me all about it after she captured me. If Ethan dies because of this, I'll find a way to make his father pay. I can fully believe that. Thank you. I should go see my husband. Yes, he he, he might need a few stitches, but I think he'll be alright. But this one's been wrong before. So it looks if like anything else is interesting in here. Probably not, but you never can tell. Uh, most of the time it's just nonsense, but every so often you get a nice loot. Like a recipe or a crafting motif or something. Ah. My poor Ethian. He wasn't a brave man, but he tried to stand up against that vile uh, I was wrong. Riser. Your husband wanted to make sure you were safe. He did, didn't he? Thank you. Now, I have a job to do. I'll Ooh. mourn Ethian after I have fulfilled my obligation to High King Emmerich. I'll send Scordo ahead to Orsinium to let them know we are on our way. Perhaps we'll see you there. Hopefully. The orcs will negotiate with me. There's still time to salvage my mission and make sure Ethian's father lives to regret what he set in motion. But thank you. Without your timely assistance, more innocence would have been lost. Okay. Right, let's go return the pendant to the. Uh... I need to focus first on Emric's treaty before I can allow myself the luxury of regret. Scordo, I will need you to get to Orsinium as soon as possible. Okay. Oh, I'm trying to get the angle wax so you can see it. Nope, it's not working. Now I need what's it? A couple more of the little icy goblins? Could be some more around this somewhere. No, nope, pressed on him. Uh, great. I need like literally two more, and I can't find them. Apart from those ones over there. I'm sorry to do this, uh, but I need the achievement. I need one more. There we go. There's the achievement. Well, at least there's the uh, points towards the achievement. Did it not work? Get the achievement. May I speak with you a moment? One second. Sure you've been misled. Uh, where's the achievements? Hmm. May I speak with you a moment? I fear you. 
Did that skeever Youse ask you to find a pendant? Yes, he said it was a gift for his betrothed. Oh, did he now? How typical. If that lech has a fiancé, then I'm the queen of Daggerfall. That pendant is mine. It even has my initial engraved on the back. It was a gift from my parents. It turned up missing shortly before the storm. How did you know about the pendant then? Yaus and I, we became friendly during the voyage, much to my regret. I see. After one particular encounter, I noticed that my pendant was gone. Yao swore he hadn't seen it, but then I heard him talking to you about it. It is your word against his. How dare you call me a liar! Look, I admit that I exaggerated when Yao admired the pendant, heat of the moment and all that. He thinks it's an heirloom, but it really only has sentimental value. It reminds me of home. It's mine. I give you my word. Right, well, because he should get used to his side of the story. Fine, talk to the liar. But be careful. His words fall like nectar from a tree. I thought he liked me, but he only had eyes for the gold around my neck. Okay. Because it belongs to me. Why would he be carrying around a gift for his betrothed on a voyage such as this? It makes no sense. He tells a good story. I'll give him that. But in the end, it smells like a guar stall. Ooh. I'm sure you realize that. Why would Yus claim that the pendant belongs to him? Because he's a thief trying to make a quick profit. That pendant is mine. It reminds me of my parents and my home. I admit that I was attracted to Yaus. Got too involved for my own good. But he just wanted to get his hands on my pendant. Mm. Well, because you think suspended that's below you. Your belief in me is gratifying. I thought I had lost the pendant forever, and with it, my one remaining connection to my home and my parents. Thank you for your help. Now, give me my pendant so I can make sure I won't lose it again. Here you go. He was a steady boy, wasn't he? There we go. Rothgar Trailblazer. Where am I going? And I've just fallen in the water. Great. Yeah, absolutely marvellous. So much snow in this place makes it hard to see where I'm going sometimes. That's it. That's better. Okay. Hit the road and then go north-ish. Cross the bridge. After I've checked to see if there's no. No, oh well. Archivist Maboka. Hello, Archivist. Oh, where are you? Oh, there you are. Malika. Vision fades. And yet, I see you clearly through the fog at life's end. Malakath, is that you? No. No, I see. I see. Malakath sent you to me, didn't he? That means uh, his words will not be lost. You must tell Kashida what, what is going on here. The Vosh Rock. They attacked our stronghold, crying for our blood in the name of Trinimac. They came for the sacred words, the hidden sanctuary. They made a mistake. They misinterpreted the blood rite that opens the way. What need this one to do? Malakath has sent you to see the sacred words to safety. Find the other archivists. Gather a drop of blood from each to open the way. You can start with mine. And know that the Agra Krun will guide you. Okay. Yeah, you must say, a friend of blood to a vampire. <laughs> Surprise! Ah, uh, 
these are the ones I wasn't supposed to kill. Shh. That was bad. Okay, well. That's a, that's a pickle. <laughs> The chicken if I've powered the quest. Ugh. Oh, they've been alerted. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. Oh, well. Yeah, I was one of the reasons why I went to stage four of vampirism so I could do this, but no, what? Fine. You made it! Excellent! Hello, Evelyn. You found me! I knew you could do it. Did you like the trail I left for you? It was easy. Hard, I'm sorry, release an arrow, move forward. Push on my knee. And I, was able to I know. The whole way. I know. Sounds like you got this uh, healing thing figured out now. Well, mostly. I did almost get caught that last time. Scared the leaves off the tree, if you catch my meaning. I dove down here to hide and wait for you to arrive. It worked a lot better in my head, okay. truth be told. So I've got cat bar right in front of the screen. Okay, you, you can park yourself there, boy. Okay, fine. Uh, did you learn anything about what is going on here? I found out that the stronghold contains a large prison of some sort. But I have so no idea where they hid the thing. Nothing around here looks like a prison to me. Oh, I did hear something else while I was sorting my arrows and waiting for you. Now what did you hear? A couple of Vosh rocks were arguing. One of them stormed off toward the overlook. He sounded pretty upset with the cult. We might be able to get the prison's location out of him. Or, you know, he could alert the entire stronghold to our presence. Uh, more fun. Uh, any ideas about how uh, we locate this prison? The cultists talk a lot. We might be able to eavesdrop oh, sorry. and hear something useful. Or we can search the buildings and hope for the best. Either way, let's split up. We can meet back up after one of us finds something. Well, Valen, we'll see what he can find out. If you discover anything useful, meet me behind the Great Hall. You, you're we literally asleep, getting comfortable in the mouse. The longer we can keep the Vosh Rock from Darth discovering King. our presence, the less likely they are to start slaughtering any prisoners. Oh. Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. Someone is being grumbly and moaning, and I'm actually thinking that's actually going to be a good point to end things for tonight because I am I'm making a making a big mistake on that quest. It's like yeah, I don't want to be doing that with Madam being a pain in the butt and uh, blocking off half the screen because I can't see it right now. Uh, I'm getting a little bit tired, but not in a bad way. So. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna call it as a call it as an early night. Um, so yes, we'll be back tomorrow with some. Oh, someone is being a very grumpy meow meow, aren't you? Yes, it, you actually you're blocking off a court. I can't actually see what. No, oh, fine. Yes, she's been a very grumpy cat. So that's generally the case. That it's like the second I get off this chair, she's gonna be sitting on it. So. Gonna take that as a hint. I know. Just make your mind up what you're doing. Thank you. So, as I've said, um, be back tomorrow uh, with Farscape at the beginning of the last season. I'm, I'm counting those peacekeeper ones as part of it. Season four, and. Things ended quite interestingly for John last time, so it's like interested in a ooh flip what's about to happen now kind of thing. So yeah, hopefully you can join me for that tomorrow. You will need Prime if you're going to uh, join in uh, watching. You can still join in the chat, but unfortunately it'd just be like me and a few of our people just sitting there just going blah 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 to just random stuff and you need to be like zoomed in on my face all the time. So I should be too good night and uh, see you tomorrow. Bye.